All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, work on this bridge. But before we do that, I'm gonna go ahead and paint some of these bushes over here and the tree. We have to showcase the bridge somehow. I mean, you have to paint the foreground, paint around the bridge for it to make sense. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead, paint some of these bushes. For that, I'm gonna pick up some um, raw umber and black. I have some raw umber and some black. And I'm gonna come here and just tap some of that color as underpainting for these bushes. Like so. to lose my sketch so I'm gonna protect it now with some ultramarine blue and some white I'm gonna make some shadow color for the snow come here and just tap same way we painted these bushes just tap some impression of maybe snow sitting on these bushes and we're gonna go ahead and highlight them with some white like so So I want some brown to show. Now I'm gonna pick up some white. And just come over here. Some indication of highlight for this snow covered bushes. If you want to give them a little more details, you can pick up a detail brush, a liner brush, some white, and just go ahead and tap like that. They are fairly in the foreground, mid ground ish, so you can give them a little bit more detail. Now I'm going to pick up some of that black with the same brush, with the liner brush some of that black some raw umber make a dark mix and I'm going to come here and indicate a, a tree, a deciduous tree and get some water with my paint Make it a bit runny. And indication of a, a small tree over here, nothing fancy. Again, I know the title of the video it's about painting a snow bridge but you gotta paint around the bridge as well for it to make sense so I'm gonna show you a little bit of the process Now 
Now I'm going to pick up some raw sienna. And I'm going to come to this side and apply some highlight. Like so. And just blend the whole thing with the shadow side. Some dark. Maybe a few more branches. I don't want this tree to be too busy. Maybe a small tree over here. Now for the bridge itself, I'm gonna use some burnt umber some raw umber and maybe some raw sienna and uh, this color is going to be mixed in together so they're going to produce tertiary colors you know so I'm going to start from here and just work with these colors back and forth I'm gonna apply some the top of the the stonework or whatever the build uh, the bridge was built with. You're gonna you know you're gonna get snow, so I'm not gonna worry about that. This is the main side that we're gonna see. Some of my burn umber has some black in it that was left on the palette. Raw umber rather. So a mixture of all those colors is gonna be here. We're gonna see some of the some of this rocky formation, whatever the bridge was built with some burnt umber some of that raw sienna For under the bridge, I'm gonna use a darker mix of that. So I'm gonna add some black to our raw umber. Basically, we're gonna make a darker shade of that umber by adding black. and even darker right underneath that arch so we're gonna bring some straight black and just tap like that you know get a good blend Uh, 
essentially this whole area is going to be covered by dark. Alternate between these colors randomly. Some dark for this side. bring some burn umber into the mix some raw umber some raw sienna And the bridge essentially curves out and goes into the woods, so we don't see much past this point. This side may not get a lot of light, so I'm going to go a bit darker. I'm just making up these things, you know, I'm not pa painting from a reference photo. You know, I rarely paint from reference photo. So, I'm just making it up. Maybe it does get light, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. Maybe this area gets some light right around here. So we're going to lighten it up with some raw sienna and I apologize you don't see my palette all the time you don't see a live feed of it my setup doesn't add up but basically it, it is what it is you see over here raw sienna raw umber but I am um, burned umber So by bringing some, some of that raw sienna over here, I'm just creating contrast 
this shadow area underneath the bridge. And just, just tapping some of that, some of those colors. Getting an old rustic look to the bridge, maybe some black even. Especially down here, where the bridge meets the water. Most of the landscape is ultramarine blue and white, so uh, this pops when you use a different color like that. It really pops. Now inside over here, we're going to start with some dark and maybe some lighter value over here. So I'm going to go ahead and even some black. And that's the path inside the bridge, so we're not going to paint the bridge you know, farther than this. It comes right up to here. And maybe some burnt umber, some of that sienna. And maybe right up until here, it gets some light. some of that darker color for right here now we're gonna go ahead Do the same thing on this side. Some raw umber, some uh, some burnt umber, some sienna. And I'm just going to pull down like that. Maybe some darker value, maybe some 
raw umber just tap into it you know create some texture get some blend now with some raw umber and black I'm gonna go ahead and indicate a few rocks over here these things gonna get covered by snow and I don't know how much we're going to see once we're done with this snow but I'm gonna go ahead and paint them rocks here and there and maybe a big one over here but I'm gonna paint that later. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna get some ultramarine blue, some white, some blue and white. Make some shadow color for the snow. And I'm gonna come up here and decide where the snow is going to cover this bridge maybe some here now I'm gonna now I'm gonna cover the whole area I want to show some of that bridge okay but obviously this whole area is gonna be covered by snow so like the rest of the landscape so it has to make sense Some of the rocky formation and some of the texture of the of the bridge that I really like, I'm not gonna cover. This area I don't care about, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover it with snow. some white and I have some ultramarine blue in the palette and I'm gonna come here and just continue painting impression of snow here you guys not strangers to snow painting snow scenes are fun most people love them some areas the snow is covering some areas maybe not some highlights for this side maybe even 
maybe even we can go ahead pick up a liner brush and apply some some snow on this side of this tree and snow here yeah. So that would be our bridge with some snow on top. Now I'm going to continue this painting and I'm going to continue painting the foreground and I will I will film it and I will include it in this video. But if you were interested only in the bridge, that's pretty much it. I would add a few more details, you know. You could go ahead and paint a few cracks and pick up some dark here and there, you know, like so. Indicate some texture, pick up some raw sienna, soften a few, you know stuff like that some random stuff if you're painting from a reference photo then you have a, some you know visual reference to go to but you can add some details like that so that would be our bridge I'm gonna continue with the foreground and you can stick around and uh, you know watch or you know if you were interested only in the bridge well that's pretty much it, it's up to you. You gotta pick up some of that white. Now we're gonna go ahead, use some of that ultramarine blue that we had and come here and just indicate some shadow color for the snow. continue with our ultramarine blue maybe some black maybe some of that umber and paint this area paint this pad probably get a bigger brush this pad over here and I'm going to continue painting is this area with this dark color alright so I'm done with the underpainting for this area now I'm going to pick up some some of that blue, let's put it here, it's cleaner. Some white. We're gonna make shadow color for the snow. We're gonna go ahead and cover everywhere that we think is gonna be in the shadows, like behind this rock. And we're gonna just extend that over here and basically paint the impression of of snow just we have to be mindful of the lay of the land and this area probably is going to be in shadows you know 
Let me cover some of that rock. Show it a little bit right there. We have a human element over here that I'm going to paint later. So continuing with that color. Maybe some white up here on this rock. Something like that. Just bring it down. Some shadow color here. Probably in nature, the contrast is not that much. In a painting, you can exaggerate a little bit. some white for here maybe get some light and yeah, just smoosh it You don't have to get all the highlights at this stage. We can come back to it and apply more highlights. This is acrylic and the beauty about acrylic is that once it dries you can go another layer. So I went ahead, same technique, same color, same brush, just like so. You know, applied the the highlight, the snow area, and with some raw umber and bare number, indicated the path. Maybe some. Straight white, indicate some highlights in here. With a few more highlights here and there, maybe for this bridge. I think minus the human element, the foreground over here, I'm happy with. Um, the main focal point is the bridge, so I guess the eye goes directly to the bridge with the contrast that we created against the whole in a whitish bluish background. So uh, I'm gonna continue with the foreground, I mean, with the foreground this side and the river, and finally the human element. I'm probably gonna include that in this in the part two of this video. So if you're interested uh, to see the, the finished painting, go ahead, check that out. Um, probably gonna post the whole, probably gonna post uh, part one and two within a few days of each other. So if you, you know, were curious to see the ending, you can go ahead and check it out. If not, you know, if you were only interested in, in the bridge, there you have it. And um, I see you guys next. Take care, happy painting.